General Joshua L. Chamberlain, the federal officer in charge of the surrender parade, was ordered to have his lines form for the ceremony at sunrise on Wednesday morning, April 12, 1865. It was a gray, chilly day. The Union lines extended along both sides of the Richmond Lynchburg Stage Road from the banks of the Appomattox River up and over the hill to a point near the McLean House. Some Union troops could see the Confederates across the river break camp and form ranks. They watched them march across the stream and up the hill toward the courthouse. General Chamberlain described the scene. Instruction had been given, and when the head of each division column comes opposite our group, our bugle sounds the signal, and instantly our whole line from right to left regiment by regiment in succession, gives the soldiers salutations, from the order arms to the old carry, the marching salute. Gordon, at the head of the Confederate column, riding with heavy spirit and downcast face, catches the sound of shifting arms, looks up, and taking the meaning, wheels superbly, making with himself and his horse one uplifted figure with profound salutation as he drops the point of his sword to the boot toe. Then, facing to his own command, gives word for his successive brigades to pass us with the same position of the manual, honor answering honor. On our part, not a sound of trumpet more, nor roll of drum, not a cheer, nor word, nor whisper of vain glory, nor motion of men standing again at the order but an awed stillness rather, and breath holding, as if it were the passing of the dead. Thus, Lee's Army of Northern Virginia surrendered. From the events of that day, a new and greater America emerged.